This is Suzanne Wagner. Thank you for joining me for the numerology and the astrology for August 26th, 2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get the pure 20. If you add the two and the zero together, you get the number two. The number two is about duality and polarity, the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, the masculine, the feminine, the two sides of the hemispheres, the right brain and the left brain, um, and trying to figure out how those two work and how they hopefully can work together. The number two is about duality and recognizing that we live in a world of light and dark. Everyone and everything has two sides, a light side that they want to show the world and a dark side that they hide from themselves and others. Circumstances arise in our world to help you mature into wholeness by showing you what you refuse to acknowledge within your own soul. We are awake for half of the day and then asleep for half of the night. The half of the day that we are sleeping, I have discovered for myself, I am usually dealing with those emotions that I suppress in my waking state. I work through them in my dreams as I sleep at night. But the more I accept both sides of my nature, the more integrated I become and the more I do not judge others because I no longer need to project my internal suppressed self out into the external world. From that place, I can observe the external world and not react from a triggered suspicion, but from a place of detached curiosity. This world needs more of that at the moment. Use your mind to give you objective discernment. Do not trust the mind to divide, to define truth, but you can trust the mind to analyze and be challenged by the web of complexity that is life at this time in the world. Intelligence is not determined by how much knowledge you hold, but in what you do with that intelligence. Knowledge without integrity and follow through is worthless in the long run. That type of knowledge sees information as a complicated game of chess, a, cha a game that in the end has no meaning other than winning. Real life is more than defining who has the best strategy. Real life is not about the shallow meaning that human minds create to entertain the ego. Real life is about having the integrity to stand for something or someone in the world. Real life is filled with mishaps and wrong turns, lessons that are designed to show us where we have followed the wrong path and find the correct one. To do that, you have to tell the truth. Truth cuts through the duality of mind and directs the next course of action. When you deny truth, you always lose. When you deny universal laws, then it is you that will be trapped in the karmic loop of this reality. Okay, the astrology for today. The moon is in exploring and adventurous Sagittarius. You wish to discover the uncharted realities that have managed to elude you. You want to feel more optimistic and enthusiastic. You want to break out of the routine in ways that enhance your life. With the moon squaring Neptune, expect disillusionment to happen on a level that may take you down a few notches in confidence. Perhaps you, you have wished for a dream that is not based in what was supposed to happen at this time. Just because you want something does not mean that it is a part of the greater plan in the, that the universe has in store for us. Some choices are not about what we want, but about what is the greater lesson that can help all of humanity grow beyond the present circumstances that limit the progression of compassion and kindness in this world. The moon and Mercury will square in the morning and can lead to upsets in communication. Mercury and Payless connect in a way that expands your thoughts into activities that have some merit. It is time to organize your beliefs and thoughts into more meaningful ways that allow for greater understanding and harmony. Okay, my quote for today. Intelligence is not determined by how much knowledge you hold, but in what you do with that intelligence. Knowledge without integrity and follow through is worthless in the long run. That type of knowledge sees information as a complicated game of chess, that game, a game that in the end has no meaning other than winning. 
my blog for today. What unlocks a heart and soul? What allows fear to take hold? What makes a soul give up its trust? What makes passion turn into dust? I watch this world with detached eyes. I watch while this world shudders and cries. I see the smoke for days on end while others deny where the fires have been. How did some concoct the thought that where there is fire, smoke is not? I will not deny what my eyes can clearly see. I will not believe lies to that, I guarantee. Those whose brains are not defined between lies and truth have anger entwined. That anger is curled around old hate of choices made because fear wants to wait. You cannot fix what you cannot embrace. You cannot heal if you continue to disgrace. Thanks, everybody.